The Blue Eddy AC200L portable power station has an inverter built in with a 2500 watt output. It also has the ability, we're using their power lift mode, to go up to 3600 watts of power. So I kind of want to push this thing a little bit tonight. I want to run two larger load tests. And then I want to see, can this thing maintain a high output for a long period of time? So let's find out together. So our two load tests are going to be one, my favorite little shopsmith saw test out in the barn. We're going to go through and see, can this thing actually fire up my shopsmith saw? And then I also have a bounce house blower that I want to see if this can handle that surge as well. And then the final test we're going to be running is we're going to take and we're going to try and output a 2500 watt continuous output and see if this can maintain that 2500 watt output until the battery drains, you know, does it, does it overheat? Does it throw a fault? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So let's head out to the barn, try the shopsmith. We have yet to find a power station that can power this beast. It, it draws a lot of power on startup. I want to, I, I can't remember what the number is, but I want to say it's, close to 50 amps on startup, but then it winds down to like eight or so. So we're going to find out if this can start it. So we will flip the switch in three, two, one. Ooh, that was close. That got further than any other one. We've got just our generic warning lights blinking on screen. We got a few revolutions on it though, so I was actually surprised. But I actually have one more test to run, and I actually bought something specifically for this. So this is a TT30-P down to the N5-20R, and there's three of those. So we're gonna plug this into the 30 amp receptacle, and we're gonna plug the Shopsmith into that and see if that gives us that boost that we need to start this thing up. And in three, two, one. Oh, we got a few more revolutions out of it. Oh, I wanna try that one again. All right, come on, baby, start. Woohoo! I don't know if you saw it, but I saw on screen right here, 3,700 watts. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Press and hold both of these. I have to admit, I do like the fact that I can set some of these values because I forgot my phone, it's in the house. So I just enabled power lifting mode. It's only supposed to work for resistive loads, but let's see if it does anything for this one. In three, two, one. <laughs> it helps if I turn the AC on. <laughs> Uh, all right, and again in three, two, one. Nope. So yeah, power lifting mode is only for resistive loads, not for inductive loads. Well, so far, nothing has been up to the challenge of starting this Shopsmith saw. It's, it's old. It's got a beefy motor in it. But the Blue Eddy AC200L so far has been the closest. We've got a few revolutions on that saw, and I actually thought it was going to go, but it just could not maintain that, that high surge requirement. I think we saw 37, almost 3,800 watts of power being pulled while it's trying to start this. Oh. So this bounce house blower is for a bounce house 
from my church. We have a community event every year where we have a corn maze out behind the church. And we found that the generators don't like the surge of these blowers. They're 20 amp circuits on the generators, but these still trip the generator. So you're having to sit there and baby the circuit breaker. So here's the specs of the bounce house blower, a 12 amp two horse blower. So I really want to know, can the Blue Eddy handle the surge and start this thing up? I should probably point this thing someplace so that it doesn't, if it does actually start, it's not blowing uh, papers and stuff all over the place. So we're at 99% on the Blue Eddy. This is not in power lifting mode right now. We're plugged into the 20 amp outlet and I've got a couple different versions of this test that will run if this one fails. So let's try it normal, uh, just on the 20 amp circuit and see if it starts. We're gonna throw this switch in three, two, one, now. Ooh, that was close. All right, so we're throwing two alarm indicators and the AC is flashing. So we'll turn the AC off and back on. All right, so it still can't start it up. We'll open the Blue Eddy app, go to settings, and we will enable power lifting mode to see if this makes any difference. And you can see on the screen, right next to the AC, there's that muscle with a lightning bolt indicating power lifting mode is on. All right, now let's try this again. In three, two, one. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it actually started it up. It just couldn't maintain it. That was cool. It just, it just couldn't maintain the necessary power to keep it going. All right, so I, I got another idea. So let's see if we can plug this into the NEMA 30 and plug the blower into that and see if it runs. In fact, I'm gonna turn it on this way so I can sit here because this is fun. <laughs> so our, our blower is turned on. I have to turn on the AC output. We'll do that in three, two, one, now. Wait for the click. It's, it's, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Oh, so close. It got farther that time though. All right, let's, let's try it again and see if we can get it. I might try and reset it while it's still winding down just to see if it can maintain because it's kind of what it does with the, the generators. Turn it off, turn it back on. It's spinning up. It's still... One more, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. It's spinning 2,700 watts, 2,800 watts. Yeah, I don't, it's almost like it can't maintain the, it might not even be the surge, it might just be the output wattage is over what it can handle. This, this thing got a whole lot closer than anything else so far. I think you might need a 3000 watt power station to be able to fire this thing up and maintain it. But then to, to run, you know, two of these for a giant bounce house, you're probably going to need a 6000 watt power station, but still, that was fun. That was cool. I mean, that really pushed this thing both on the 20 amp and the 30 amp side. 
and it it spun up but it just it just couldn't maintain that so everything is is connected back up you can see we're back up to a hundred percent I have unplugged our AC input there's no connections so all I should have to do is turn this on you'll hear the charge verter start to wind up and then we should start seeing it start to discharge around 2400 watts I guess it helps if I flip the breaker <laughs> always the little things it'll fluctuate up and down a little bit and we'll be back in about an hour it is uh, 9 24 in the morning well it is 10 19 I'm pretty sure it stopped a while ago and we have a successful discharge. We were able to successfully do a full discharge at 2400 watts. Now, full disclosure, I did have to do this twice. So the very first time, it stopped around like 74% for some reason, and I don't know why. I didn't have the camera rolling the entire time, so I started the camera up and recorded the remaining 70% discharge, and it, it discharged fine. So after that first failed test, I went through and redid it again, and it did do the full 100% discharge. And then I also did go through and I wondered, you know, how high could I take the output before it overloaded? And so I slowly kept increasing and increasing the charge verter output, and it got all the way up to 3000 watts output on the Blue Eddy, and then it overloaded. So lots of little fun things, just, just kind of pushing it. I did find out that when I was doing the charge and the discharge test, uh, the 2400 watt discharge, it threw a over temperature discharge at the end, you know, after it was done and I tried to recharge it, it flashed that there was the temperature warning. You do have to unplug the power station and turn it all off and then turn it back on after it has cooled down because otherwise it's going to keep flashing the error and it will not reset itself but lots of fun tests you know we got a few revolutions on the bounce house blower and a few revolutions on the shopsmith saw of which you know nothing else has been able to to turn those over before but, you know, just it, it's, it's fun kind of pushing these things sometimes. So uh, if you're interested in, in this power station for, you know, something that you could use around your house as a, as a backup in, in case the power goes out, I'll leave links in the description below. But again, do your own research. Don't just listen to me. You know, I just do this stuff uh, for fun and, you know, kind of want to show you what I find out. So... With that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.